Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode three of the Business Master Chef Challenge. I'm Kim McNicholas, and I'm really excited to join the Business Master Chef Challenge as your host. And of course, welcome you all to the next step in our business building show, where our 10 contestants learn how to build a business in 20 simple steps using the Business Master Chef methodology while using AI tools that anyone can find. In our previous episode, we got to see more about our contestants' business minds and their skill sets, their hopes, their approaches, their goals, and of course, the status of the jackpot, and how we grade the contestants as well. We presented two of the many business master chef experts. The challenge, I have to say, reached a whole new stage. And as always, we have our business master chef, Jose Graca, right here to show the way to move forward. Welcome, Jose. Thank you, Kim. Hello, everyone. This episode is very special to me because this is where things really start taking shape. We have gotten to know our contestants, but today we will start to know what their business is about. Each contestant has completed step three of the Business MasterChef program, learned how to present their business in a written format and create a business model. In other words, they learn to define their business and how to fit it into their target market, but also what to plan and how to make money on the go. As we said before, defining your idea is the most basic, but an important first step before starting your business. In this episode, our contestants take on the challenge of getting concrete ideas on paper. We ask them to define the problem, the solution, the target market, and how to explain their business in one sentence, and to develop their business model, among other exciting things. Jose, why are these steps so important for building a business? Kim, we need to know what we are selling. And before making a sale, this is obvious to most, but not to everyone. Sometimes getting to that answer is not as straightforward as it might seem. How does this help these contestants to reach their goals of generating a working business in just 20 steps? Most entrepreneurs just want to start building right away. But being prepared and being able to expect the unexpected is more important than you might think to avoid your business to start collapsing during that process. Now, some great companies with great ideas behind them have failed at the first obstacle because they just didn't expect a particular risk or because they had a weakness they were not aware and were in the wrong place at the wrong moment with no plan on how to react. Now, we want to be one step ahead, right? We do know more than 90% of businesses end up failing because of these issues. How does this program help these contestants to avoid them? The Business MasterChef Challenge takes into account those risks and failures. It empowers us to understand the ways we can prepare for and anticipate changes and difficulties. Having alternatives is a big competitive advantage. This can be a new technology, such as artificial intelligence, but most important, you need to start before your competitors, even without knowing what to do with it. So you're really giving yourself an advantage when you're able to plan ahead this way, I would imagine. But still sounds a little intimidating. How hard is this to do? Like so many things, it is hard to do anything when you don't know what to do. But the Business MasterChef programs help in solving those problems. There is no magic. 
just a simple logic guide to help you think about the things that are important, that most people only discover through a trial and error process, typical when it's too late. In case you want to know more, please go to the Business MasterChef program page and check out the programs and steps. We have great exercises that help build your business and really prepare you in the best possible way. And for those who take this serious and stay until the end of the program, we will share how they can earn a discount, yes, a 50% discount on their business model training so that you can get started right away in building a business. That sounds great, Jose. But of course, in this challenge, our contestants don't have to do it alone. I think it's time for us to meet our two guests for this episode. We're really excited to have them here on this show. Let's meet our experts. In this episode, we have Carolyn Balbino, our legal expert, a real powerhouse in Brazilian business circles, a well-known legal consultant, and an expert in the principles of setting up a solid company. Also, David Slim, an expert in education with experiences in the most challenging environments as both a teacher and training administrator. The man who has helped give shape to our fantastic business MasterChef training programs as well. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, David. Welcome to the Business Master Chef Challenge. Go ahead and introduce yourselves to our contestants as well as our viewers. Thank you, Kim. Hi again, Jose. I'm very excited to join you all and share some of my experience in this great world of startups to help our contestants get to the next level. As a lawyer and expert in business law and international commercial law, I have seen hundreds of companies come and go. Some do everything right and fail, and others, of course, do everything wrong, but still manage to push through. Learn from their mistakes and succeed. So I'm very excited to help our entrepreneurs find the best of both worlds. Learn from the mistakes of others so you can succeed without all that pain is a great strategy, isn't it? Hello, Kim. Hello, Jose. And hello to all of our brave contestants. Like Jose said, I have been focusing on education and on improving the way people learn for many years. I am proud to be a professor in this field. I have had a great experience in building educational programs in Mexico and in Europe. It is fun to see the contestants going through these models that I helped to create. I am excited to see how the contestants make the most out of the training and tools we are providing. We are going to have a great, great journey as we watch them get to the real meat and bones of our program over the next episodes. I cannot wait to see how they are handling the program as we progress. Thank you, David, and thank you, Carolyn. It is so great to see people from all over the world just bringing all of their knowledge and their skills together and then to see the results. Well, let's take a look at what our five contestants have been up to. Let the challenge begin. Let's kick off with Faison, the tech star from Germany. He's one of our young contestants. You know, Faison is an engineer at his heart and a believer in technology and innovation to solve everyday problems. Hello guys, this is Faison and you are watching Business Master Chef Challenge. Today I will be doing the exercise related to business model. And in this business model, I will be filling out a business model canvas. From this exercise, my expectation is that uh, I will have more insight on the different areas of the business beside the idea itself. And let's see how it's going to be. Stay tuned. Next, we have Omar the Pharaoh from Egypt. He is another one of our young entrepreneurs. 
And he is one of the more creative personalities in our program. Omar is not just a tech engineer, but also a sportsman and an artist too. All right, I'm about to start the business model training. It seems like a very interesting one. It will give you a guide on how to choose uh, your business, how to properly evaluate it to do the market research, SWOT analysis, and also help you uh, writing your business model and design it. So let's see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. Next, let's go over to England where we have our contestant Ian, the Night Owl. One of our veteran contestants, Ian already has a good grasp of who he is and what he wants and quite some business experience as well. Let's see though how he adapts to the challenge. Okay, so here we are. Third challenge, going to start the, uh, the process going now. I think I've got a bit of reading to do and then I've got to fill out some questions. So I'll probably get the reading out of the way and come back and have a quick chat, tell you how I'm getting on. But hopefully this will be the development of my new business model. And while we're on the British Isles, let's do a stop over in Scotland to visit our dear Rory McGregor, a fearless tartan terrier. Another contestant who has a wealth of experience in the demanding world of business and industry. He may be the one for our youngsters to keep an eye on and beat if he can combine his experience with the best of business master chef challenge and how to handle social media. Rory is just warming up here in the competition, so keep an eye on him. Yeah, this week's task is all about your business model, your business idea, identifying a problem and then uh, finding a solution and working out a way in which you can solve that problem. And from the land of the Scots over to Scottsdale, Arizona, where we have our wonderful Rena the Phoenix the only woman who made it through our first selection and truly a force to be reckoned with due to her varied experience both in business and in life. One of our most motivated and inspirational contestants to date. Good morning, everyone. So we are starting module three and this is developing our business model. I'm really excited because it feels real now. As you probably have already heard, I'm going to be building a skincare company. I'm super excited. So the business model is going to help me define my product, define my market, define what my competition is and figure out how I'm going to get this all going. So like I said, it feels real now and I feel like I'm starting to make some progress. So I'm excited to get into the coursework and then start building my model and I will let you know how it goes. Now, before we look at our next contestants, Jose, can you tell us where our jackpot is standing at this point and what they are competing for? Our jackpot is now at 29,000 credits and this episode could make it grow by another 10,000 if the contestants succeed. In episode two, we had a few contestants that were not able to contribute to the jackpot. Remember, one BMC credit is worth one US dollar and can be converted into specialized services, products, advertising, and much more needed in your business building. Jose, thank you for the jackpot update, and let's get back to our contestants. Up next, we have Andre, the trading guru from Romania, a great addition to our cohort. He brings a whole different approach to businesses called change management. He's got the experience to back up innovative changes, but can he take the leap from an advisor to becoming a CEO? We'll have to wait to find out. 
Hello everyone and greetings from Andre, the training guru. I am now at the beginning of the business model training. Since I've already chosen a business idea that I'm passionate about, which offers a unique value proposition and can easily adapt to changing market trends, all that is needed now is to understand what it takes to implement it. I am confident that the business model canvas will help with fine-tuning my business idea and getting it one step closer to implementation. See you at the end of the training. From Eastern Europe to the Middle East, we now catch up with one of our fan favorites. He is our social media guru, Nidal, aka Mikau. He is our present social media leader in this cohort, a multifaceted entrepreneur who had a varied and very colorful career from sales to management, even as he's one of our younger contestants. Every time we get new tests or tasks, uh, I always wonder if this is going to be hard, if this is going to be long, can I do it? And then I keep reminding myself, if you, if you try, you can. And then you just go for it. In the middle of it, be like, mm, not bad. But when I finish it, be like, okay, maybe it was all in my mind. It's doable. It's understandable. Okay, let's keep heading east to Nepal and visit our friend Romex, the Everest. Romex is a management practitioner and researcher blessed with a comprehensive understanding of business and the skills to run a very large team. Hey there, Romex here. Uh, today I'm going to start uh, another course, another training called Business Model. You know, I'm, I'm really excited to see, you know, what is this course is all about. And I hope I can find some inspiration, some learnings, you know, some lessons uh, so that I can, I can make my own business model uh, for these challenges. So I'm really excited and uh, I don't like like other courses we had earlier, I have high expectation, you know, because uh, I always think now, right now that, you know, uh, the team has worked pretty hard to make all those courses for us. So I'm really excited and see what is there for me and what kind of lessons I can have uh, with this business model training. Thank you. Well, let's start heading back and let's check in with Michelle, our Copernicus from Poland. This self-made entrepreneur is full of drive and motivation and focused on self-improvement, working to create a new IT revolution. I think I got used to the tests or tasks. I enjoy working on my business idea since I think every week I'm improving something. And last but not least, we arrive back in Romania to catch up with our dear Julius, also known as the Eco Wizard. His career path reveals a deep seated passion for operational excellence and sustainability across multiple industries. But can he turn this into a new green revolution with this new company? We'll have to wait to find out. Building the business plan, now that was a great experience. So what I noticed while building a business plan is that it allowed me to be a lot more expansive with my ideas and maybe focus on the specific areas that I needed to while making it understandable for everybody. And this was one of the greatest assets that I had doing the business plan and taking the course here. It is fascinating to have this front row seat to the process of these very motivated people coming up with their business solutions and really thinking through these issues. But what do our experts think? David, why don't we start with you? Would you like to add a, just a comment or two? Thank you, Kim. And I agree. This is a great process to be seen firsthand. And I think it reveals a lot about how different people approach the same task. They all are getting the grips with some very basic but somewhat abstract concepts. I think there is a clear difference between those who have done this kind of work before and those who are more, let's say, fresh. Thank you, David. What about Carolyn? What do you think? Oh, Kim and José, I think we have a lot of real winners on our hands already. The way they have approached this has been 
very professional and serious already. I do think people like you, Rary, Irina, Romex, and Andre have a bit of an advantage in this particular challenge, having had more experience with the day-to-day -day running of a business really helps you get to the know. The small mistakes that more optimistic entrepreneurs can sometimes miss. But that's not always a great advantage because the trick with innovation and solving problem in business today really needs to good grasp on what clients want and how they like to be approached on the social media, not something everyone is comfortable with. The world is changing at light speed. You need to keep up with the pace while finding creative solutions on the go. The younger contestants like Pfizer, Michal, Omar or, and Nedal have less experience in building a business, but dare to put in place out-of-the-box surprises. And so far this has been a strategic advantage in this challenge. I would be good for the more experienced contestants to take this series and have lessons learned. I agree with the both of you. This is going to be quite challenging to see who is going to win at the end. The most experienced or those who are more open to challenging experiences as so many options are opening for this amazing cohort. They all have what it takes to make it to the finish line. Let's see how they perform during this challenge. And we still have more surprises to come and we have just begun. It is time to check on what the contestants have to say about step three of the Business Masterchef Challenge. Let's welcome our own and only incredible Freddy Cruz. How are you, Freddy? Great to have you back. Hi, Kim and Jose. It's great to be back. We're going to take a look at what the contestants experienced as they move past each step of the Business MasterChef Challenge. This was a great episode where we got to get into the juicy part of this concept. Getting to know what kind of business these incredibly talented people want to build and how they plan on getting there. We prepared five questions, which you will see on your screen. Just like last time, these are more personal questions about their thoughts, about their expectations, and what their experience has been. Thank you so much, Freddie. Okay, let's take a look at some of the top answers. What has it been like to have to document and record your entire learning process? Did you find it enjoyable, difficult, or both? I haven't exposed myself that much. Only writing articles, studies, papers, and so on. But putting myself out there in video and really touching base and getting personal with my followers and with everybody involved, I'm hoping it's gonna really expand and take both Business MasterChef and the businesses that are getting built here to the next level, to the global level. So far, so good. Everything is going smoothly. The hardest part, we may say, is the filming and recording. I have no professional previous experience in it, so it was quite hard to me. This has been a really tough process for all of our contestants. Our crew has been working on turning them into self-recording pros while they give us the utmost for their business. It just shows how deep their commitment is to building these businesses and having an impact. What do you think about this online learning approach? Is it effective, convenient? Yeah, I'm a little bit older than uh, a lot of the other con contestants on the show. So uh, I've been through a lot of this uh, ex or these exercises before, um, but it's good. It's good because it refreshes your your mind and gets you thinking again, gets you gets your creative uh, juices flowing, and and gets you uh, thinking about all the aspects of building a business. I think up to this point, I'm really excited, uh, learning new things every day, 
and it has been a fascinating journey. Uh, yeah, it is a new concept and uh, if, like every new concept, things not always go as you plan. Uh, so uh, I'm a big believer on a lean methodology. So we will learn as we move. And I have high hopes for this show to be the greatest one. The Business Master Chef Challenge has been an exceptional experience for me. I hope the contest will provide me with as much help as possible in order to get my business up and running. Interesting to see how they have experienced the assessments. What about your business are you most confident about? And what are you most worried about? So my idea is to automate some of the high risk professions and high risk jobs that is done on a regular basis in industrial and commercial sites. One of the main tasks that we're gonna be focusing on is windows cleaning. Something as simple as any uh, residential or a business tower, they would have like loads of windows and they probably need to be cleaned on a regular basis and uh, in order to achieve that that would require a lot of manpower a lot of effort a lot of effort a lot of time and of course the main thing is it's a safety critic it's a high risk profession it, uh, it's not safe for the workers and it includes a lot of safety measures to be done uh, properly so using a drone to clean windows that would make it way faster way cheaper and it will eliminate any human risk. So I've been in the, the industry now for 30 odd years and uh, quite frankly I know the the main places where people uh, advertise the jobs. What I'm trying to do is distinguish myself away from the two big standard recruitment companies and try and move towards just a specialist higher end organization? Well, yes, there was some things that did change after doing my business model. I mean, I always knew that I wanted to have a product, a skincare product. I also knew that I wanted to be something that was natural, that was effective, that maybe was merging uh, therapies from the East with modern science from the West. So I always had that type of philosophy, but I think what's really made me think putting this business model together is who my target population is going to be. So I think that's changed. So I think it's been a good exercise. And um, I hope that I can figure out a plan that targets this population, because I really do feel that the demographic I'm looking at is one that really needs the products I'm going to develop. And now it is time to find out how our contestants scored in this episode. So please welcome our one and only, the amazing, Sheetal. Please let us have the score, Sheetal. How did everyone do? The score outcome in this episode was not what we expected. The jackpot decreased with 2,000 points. Let's see what influenced this result. Export panel scored as follows. 7 points for Rina, the Phoenix. 9 points for Michael, the Copernicus. 8 points to Julius, the Echo Wizard. 8 points for Andre, the Training Guru. 8 points for Romex, the Everest. 6 points for Ruri, the Tartan Terrier. 6 points for Ian, the Night Owl. 8 points for Nidal, our Middle East Michael. 8 points for Omar, our Ferro, and 8 points for Fezan, the tech star. The audience voting score was as follows. Nidal Richie's 1,689 votes, 10 points. Michael with 1,122 votes, 9 points. Fezan with 539 votes, 8 points. Romex with 270 votes, 7 points. Rina with 204 votes, 6 points. Julius with 172 votes, 5 points. Omar with 89 votes, 4 points. Andre with 56 votes, 3 points. Ian with 26 votes, 2 points. Ruri with 3 votes, 1 point. Final score up to episode 3. 
Michael leading with 36 points in first place. We have in second position disputed by Nidal and Fizan with each 34 points. In third position, Romex with 30 points and Rina in fourth position with 28 points. Julius in fifth position with 26 points. Omar in sixth position with 23 points. And Andre in seventh position with 21 points. We have Ian in 8th position with 16 points and Ruri in last position with 13 points. We had in the jackpot 29,000 credits in episode 2. Nidal, Julius, Omar and Andre lost 2,000 points each as they failed to deliver it on time. Rina, Fezan, Ruri, Michael Ian and Romex each added 1000 points to the jackpot. The jackpot lost a total of 2000 points. We have now in the jackpot 27000 points equals to 27000 US dollars in episode 3. Oh my gosh! The, the jackpot went down 2000 points to 27000 points. Jose, what can we do to get this jackpot growing again in the next episode? Well, this means we need to work harder in episodes four of the Business MasterChef Challenge. This is a competition and only the best will reach the finish line. The contestants are building up a good pool of resources every episode that will be used in the next stages of the contest. We might see some considerable changes in the scoring when the most experienced contestants are able to get a grip on our voters and start building their social media engagement. We can add up to 10,000 credits to the jackpot next episode, depending on how the contestants perform. Jose, this is so exciting. I can't wait to find out. So what is next on the Business Master Chef Challenge? I can't wait. Come on, <laughs> tell me. Please tell us about where our audience can find out more about the Business Master Chef programs as well. We sponsor 1,000 candidates every year, up to 90% of our program fees. Our goal is to build a hundred thousand businesses over the next 36 months on a global scale. You can find all details on the businessmasterchef.com webpage. That's why we have this show, to reach people like our audience and remind them they can apply to the Business Masterchef Challenge. Our casting for season two just opened for the booster program. Check our homepage for more details and apply if you are a self-employed or a small business owner and want to scale your business to the next heights. And of course, win a great jackpot. So come and challenge. All right, so there it is. The chance to scale your business in the most modern way around and the chance to do it while winning a bunch of scaling funds. But really, it's up to you watching at home to take the very first step. That's all it takes, that very first step. Jose, can you tell us a little secret? <laughs> you know I'm a very curious person. What are we going to do in episode four? I just, just give us a little glimpse. <laughs> can you do that? You know the best secrets should never be revealed. <laughs> That's why it's a secret, right? <laughs> but okay, here we go. We are going to have a competition for the voters. Wow. And instead of doing it in episode four, I decided to do it right away in episode three. Those who vote and are going to answer three questions which can be found inside this episode when voting. 
on their favorite contestant are going to win a free 100% business model training from the business master chef. Now, is this not incredible? Go and vote and answer those questions. Wow, a free business master chef business model training. This is so exciting. How do I apply? I mean, I love the whole idea. All these contestants inspire me. I now want to build a business. Oh, Kim, come on. You know you cannot apply. <laughs> but those voters who will win the training will have a 15-minute one-to-one meeting with the business master chef himself at the end. That's me. Now, the rules to apply will be available in the voting area. The code for getting a 50% discount on the business model training right away, as promised, will be shared in the same voting area after you have voted on screen. Make sure you have pen and paper to write it down or just take a picture with your smartphone. Wow, Jose, that means whatever happens, you are always able to get a 50% discount. That's amazing. I'm curious to see how our contestants are going to perform in the next episode and who is going to walk away with the jackpot at the end of the entire program. In the next episode, we will be working on the benchmark, the market research, and the SWOT analysis with help from AI tools. So I'm quite excited to show you how it works. Well, that sounds like something we just can't miss. So we will see you all in the next episode. Can you take on a challenge? Well, then come back for the next episode and watch the Business Master Chef Challenge. And don't forget to vote. That is really important and grab that free training and 50% discount. Stay tuned.